So who are the eight teams of the Canadian Premier League? Well, I'm gonna break them all down for you right here in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Curtis here and you're watching my channel, AFC Curtis, your home for all things Canadian Premier League content right here on YouTube. So if you're new here, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. So guys, I went back through my stats and I saw there's a really good video that I did two years ago now that looks really dated and really bad to be honest with you. And the information is a little outdated too because it was the seven teams of the CPL. So I decided all the way now in 2020 is a good time there to update that and put out this new update video with the eight teams of the CPL because we got up a team here which is a good thing to do so let's get things here started with the champions forge fc so the first champions here the hashtag forever firsts that's right here man forge fc here from hamilton ontario canada the inaugural champions here they get this is a team that's stacked couldn't even like get it out there because it was just stacked right there as this team in Forge FC. You got Kyle Becker, Chris Nanko, Kwame Aua, you know, Tristan Henry, who's an underrated goalkeeper on this team. Daniel Crutzen, uh, David Edgar, former Canadian men's national team superstar at center back there. So, I mean, this team's got so many other great players too. I, I can't even list them all. It'd be too long of a video. Uh, they play out of Tim Horton's field over in Hamilton, which I've been to the field. I've uh, been to the stadium there for the Nago game last year. It's a pretty nice little place there and fantastic they paint the whole place orange for every forge game which is pretty incredible in a cpl uh, or a cfl size stadium like that they fill it really well uh, along with that though their cat their coach and manager general manager there is bobby smirty otis there uh the guy that originally i couldn't even pronounce his name right at first but now i can because he's one of the best coaches in the canadian premier league easily 100 percent could very well win the coach of the year this year runner up for me last year and along with this team though are they going to win the microwave plate again i mean sorry Right, the CPL championship again this year we're gonna have to find out now time to go to the craziest crowds out there which is of course at Wanderers ground the home stadium for this next club here and that's HFX Wanderers coming from Halifax Nova Scotia they love their CPL CPL soccer out there clearly because they sold out pretty much every game last season uh, for the Wanderers there and uh, now with this team here they're coached by former Canadian men's national team coach there Stephen Hart there Hart's a legend as we all know and he's very beloved there for club players and fans alike over in the city of Halifax and of course their players they love and support their players out there and the three some big stars there to watch by the way is defender Peter Shala as well as uh, forward Akeem Garcia and midfielder Louis Ballon Goyette it was a big signing this past offseason for them. So this is looking like a pretty good year for pretty upbeat HFX Wanderers. Next, we're going to Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Here we got Cavalry FC here. Uh, the team that on paper is probably the best team in the Canadian Premier League. A team that was the best team in both the fall and spring season last year. Went all the way to the CPL Finals and didn't even score a goal. Went on to lose 2-0 to Forge FC there. Is looking deadlier than ever in 2020. I mean, this team looks incredibly, like, even better than last year. I, I was like... How can they improve? They just did it. They just improved. They just got better, which is incredible to see. Uh, they have reigning coach of the year, Tommy Wilden Jr. as their GM and head coach there. Uh, great guy. I've had him on the show. I'll have a link for that interview down in the description below. But anyway, back to this video here. They play out at Co Field there uh, over there in Southern Calgary. They're a nice little field um, that looks actually very European, like third or fourth division in England. Very nice uh, little field there. I'd love to go visit it, uh, hopefully in the near future, to watch a Cavs game. Uh, this team's looking deadly because they're also stacked kind of like Forge FC and even York 9 FC right now. Some great talented players. They got young Canadian goalkeeper Marco Carducci there. Uh, they also got Dom Zader, the Mason Trafford on the back end. They got former Canadian men's national team player Nick Ledgerwood on this team. I mean this team is looking fantastic. Jordan Brown who I think is going to have another great season this year up front for the team there. And so many other great superstar names there. Sergio Camargo, Nico Pasquati. I can keep going on as you can tell with uh, Cavalry FC um, but this team is looking just unbelievably uh, stacked so definitely if you're a favorite of championship caliber teams Calvary FC could be that that club you might want to look at now we go to the nation's capital the city of Ottawa with the newest CPL team here and that's Atletico Ottawa owned by Atletico Madrid from La Liga side they're one of the best clubs in the world by the way owns the CPL club that's pretty cool you gotta admit along with that though they have former Atleti Madrid player Mista as their coach their inaugural ever first ever coach they played a TD play 
Place Stadium, which is also the same stadium the CFL's Ottawa Red Blacks play out of and former Ottawa Fury Soccer Club play out of. Uh, and of course, some star players here you got to watch out for is Mr. Ben Fisk, as well as AJ Cabra from FC Edmonton. And a big one here that I really like coming over from Liga MX and down in Mexico is Francesco Acuna. It's going to be a super star, this guy. Stud. Got to watch out. Next, we're going to go to a Golden Prairies club here in Valor FC from Winnipeg, Manitoba. They play out of IG Field there in southern Winnipeg. And, of course, they're coached by former U20 and U18 men's, Canadian men's coach Rob Gale there as their GM and head coach. And some star players here. There's some pretty good ones here, guys, as they rebuilt this past winter. They got Arnold Baku Matu left back from uh, Dijon back over in the French, the French top division. And on top of that, they also have Brett Levi's from Vancouver Whitecaps and Mr. Frazier aired there which is a Canadian player as well which is pretty cool so we got a pretty good team here in Winnipeg for Valor FC now we move over to the York region here and their football club here is York 9 FC the nine stripes here they play at a York Lions Stadium there at the University of York and uh, along with that their manager is uh, Mr. Jimmy Brennan former Canadian men's national team player there he's also pretty legendary played pretty well uh, over in Europe uh, as his career would attest to. They also have some really good players here. They're actually my dark horse. They're one of my dark horse picks, really, to win the 2020 CPL season because this team's stacked with some talented individuals. They got a pair of really good fullbacks and Dia Dane Abzi and Maury Donor. They got in net Nate Ingham. And of course, up top there, they got some superstars like Ryan Telfer and Michael Petrasso. So this is a pretty good team to pick if you're looking for a team close to Toronto. Next, we're going to go to the city of Edmonton and their football club. There is FC Edmonton, who, by the way, is celebrating their 10 year anniversary in 2020 so they are the actually only club really in the CPL prior to 2019 that has any history which is kind of cool uh, they also have Academy that started back in 2011-2012 started by Mr. Jeff Pulis too which is uh, also cool because he's now the head coach and general manager of FC Edmonton and his club here has some pretty good star players moving forward here in 2020 with goalkeeper Connor James we also have uh, defender Amir Didage who had a good trial with the MLS's Vancouver Whitecaps probably should be in the MLS because he's that good of a defender. Plus, we also have striker here, Easton Ongaro. He's a pretty good up-and-coming U21 striker there for Canada. So, this is a pretty good team, an underrated team in my books for 2020. Now, we end things here on the West Coast with Pacific FC, one of the clubs with the nicest kits, as you can tell, in the Canadian Premier League. They play at a West Hills Stadium. They have a new coach here in Pa Ka here, a former Vancouver Whitecaps player there as well. So, that's a good thing to note there. If you like the Whitecaps, why not support uh, also BC club? Up here in Pacific FC. Plus, they love playing youngsters. Just last season, the inaugural year, they played more U21 or spent more U21 minutes on young players than any other club in the CPL in its inaugural season. And we'll probably do so yet again this season in 2020. Uh, some young studs here that we have on the team, some great players here. We got Taryn Campbell, rising star at striker. We also have attacking midfielder Marco Bustos, there is a super CPL All Star last season. And of course, we got left back, former Canadian men's national team superstar there. Um, Marcel D. John there, who's going to hopefully have a full season of health this season because the club needed him last year, but this year with him healthy, they'll look pretty, pretty good as well. So this is a team that likes to go forward and attack, and we're going to see that yet again in 2020 over on the West End. All right, guys, that's enough of me doing my wardrobe change here in this video shoot. Uh, let me know what your guys' favorite clubs are and why you support them down in the comment section below. And, if, of course, if you like this video and agree with some of the stuff I said, definitely hit that thumbs up, that like button. And, of course, if you want to watch more content just like this about the Canadian Premier League on my channel, make sure you hit that not only that red subscribe button, but a little bell notification button beside it so you can get notified each and every week when I drop brand new episode just like this one you can also watch my content by the way guys also at northernstarting11.com we'll have a link for that website down in the description below and until next time guys we'll see you later